Hi, this is Amy M. Burns from amymburns.com and the author of Using Technology with Elementary Music Approaches, available from Amazon and Oxford University Press today. Please click like and subscribe and join me weekly for either play along videos, tech tips, etc. But today is a tech tip. It's five ways to use Canva for elementary music class, but this honestly could be five ways to use Canva in the elementary classroom. If you haven't jumped on the Canva bandwagon, I highly suggest you do it because it's awesome. It's a one-stop shop of greatness and you can get it for free if you are a K through 12 educator. So let's take a look at Canva. Number five, starting to have a teachers pay teachers free inside of Canva. Not literally teachers pay teachers, but teachers putting in lesson plans, not only all of the other templates that they've been using, but like lesson plans. So let's look at this. You go into education and teaching resources. If you move on down, you can find in the education library some lessons and they are filtered by grade or subject or resource type. So if I went over into subject, music's not there yet, but let's start adding to this and sharing with each other. If I went to science, I could find a whole lesson on the solar system and it will show you how the teacher made it in the lesson preview. And of course, as a teacher, you also, again, could share with other teachers and put input your lessons. So that's number five. Let's go back into the presentation tool and go over to number four. You need a quick sub plan? Try Canva's worksheet template and access the translate tool. Let's go and look at that. So over here I put in music worksheet templates and let's say I'm gonna use the parts of the clarinet. So I'm gonna uh, customize this template. What I wanna do is, let's make that a little bit bigger. I would like to translate these directions. So to do that, I'm going to go over to magic switch and go into translate and I'm going to select a language. We're going to translate into Chinese traditional and click on it. So now open, it's going to open a new document. So it's not going to take over the document you already made. Just open a new document and translate it. Again, I would need to check to make sure that this is accurate, but it's really nice to have this tool so that you are including all of your students into your lessons and making sure they can read them. Let's go to the next one, back into present mode here in Canva, and we're gonna jump over to number three. Create fun projectables with the elements, photos, and animation tools, and don't forget about the fun presentation tools like that. <laughs> so if you're using Canva as your presentation tool in your classroom, don't forget how much fun it can be. Look at the animations that goes on there, and all of these ideas and all of these come from Canva, these pictures, everything. So I can go into the elements and find a lot of that that you see in there. I can go into the photos and find more items in there. There's so much here that you can use that you don't have to actually go outside of Canva to make these projectables and these manipulatives. It's really, really fabulous. And let's talk about the animations I used today. When I went into using animations for this, I clicked on magic animations. There's a lot of great AI tools here. There's a magic studio, magic switch, go down here and you can really find a lot of the AI tools and helpful assistant tools that you need. So also what comes with this is a customized animation. So when I'm over in five pumpkins here and they rolled out of sight, I can actually, as you see right there, I can customize those animations so that I can just draw where they go. And when I go into presentation mode here, they leave. And you might've heard the music, you might not have, but you can also add music in Canva and they have tools that you can create your own music in Canva. But I'm just sticking with these five. Let's get back and not off subject. Let's jump over to the next one. Um, the next one is number two, AI image at generator. Wonderful if you are artistically challenged like me. Let me give you an example. So this is, oh, in the woods, there was a tree, and the tree is in a hole in the ground, and I really wanted to make a manipulative where I had just one word so the students could see it. I'm labeling a tree and they can start reading it for my early readers. And it was really hard to find a picture where the tree is in a hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around. But in comes 
over here in the apps. So let me show you what I did. I went over to the apps and you can find a lot of different apps. I went to the trending one. There is your own song generator, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna use this one. And I'm gonna open, and what I did was this. Let me show you. I put in tree in hole in the ground and green grass all around. All right, so I'm gonna generate that and it's going to make a picture of the words I just told it to. And it will generate a few different options for you so that you can choose. You know, I really like the one it made earlier, but that one's not too bad and I can just add that, click and drag it in or just click and it will go right on in. And that's gonna kind of work. Put that right in the center. Kind of cool, yeah. So again, if I didn't like that, I could regenerate it again, but it's saying that's all I'm gonna give you. And there's other tools too, like that's not the only tool that can do that. So you can check more of your tools from Canva. There's quite a few that really can do a lot and they're quite, um, they're, they're AI, it's really, really cool. Okay, last is drawing with the shape assistant. Um, the drawing tool came out, but it was like hard to find. And then once you had it, you're like, yay, a drawing tool. But if you're again, artistically challenged like myself, drawing is hard and I don't make the shapes as much as I like, as good as I like. So if you hold down the tool, once you clean it, once you finish the shape, it will automatically change it for you. See that? So if I'm not drawing a very good rectangle, it will actually do it for me if I hold it down after I finish. See how it does that? That's really great. That's a quick way instead of going into elements like, oh, I just need to draw a quick circle. I'll do this. That's not a good circle. <laughs> I'll use the draw tool and hold it down at the end and it will fix it for me. Bonus tools. Go over to magic switch and look at the transform into doc. These are brand new. You can turn your presentation into any of these. Let me just show you some examples. I mean, it's pretty amazing. This is my presentation turned into the blog post, so I can just post it on my blog. Here is one where I turned a presentation into a country ballad song. Um, that one I showed you. Here's where I needed to have Canva reduce down my um, bio to something brief, so if you highlight it and go into Magic Write, you could actually make it summarize the text or sprinkle some fairy dust on it. It's really funny when you read that one. Make it more fun, more formal, or even rewrite. So check out these little bonus tools too. These are just five fun tools you could use with Canva. I hope I convinced you to try some of these out and then go on Google and find a ton of videos on how to use Canva. And if you are like me or your music educator and you'd like to learn more, check out Katie Wardrobe's Midnight Music where she did a whole course on Canva and you did five projects within her community. It's really excellent, so check that out. And remember to click like and subscribe and come back for more.